Okay, so I just got a very exciting purchase yesterday. I picked up a Halloween moon crab from the Reptile Expo, and he's so cute. I love him so much. Um, I just have him in a temporary tank right now. I thought I'd make a video of me setting up his enclosure, uh, just because I've never seen- I haven't really seen many videos setting up crab enclosures and stuff like that, so I thought maybe it would be helpful to some people. So I'm gonna show you where he's at. So while I wait to put him in the new enclosure, I figured I'd talk a little bit more about some stuff you can do to take really good care of your crab. So the temperature needed is between 75 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, so they like it nice and warm. They come from tropical climates. Um, and for humidity, you should keep it around 80%. There's a couple more things I want to get for my tank that I don't have yet. Uh, like I heard, it's good to keep some shells or pebbles in there. Uh, that they can pick up, they can bury them, and they use them to fortify their burrows and actually make them last longer. They're actually really smart. You can definitely keep crabs together, have multiple in there. Uh, they're normally social, so it's probably good to keep them in more than one. Um, they are prone to fighting though. They will definitely fight each other if one is bigger than the other. There's definitely a chance they could kill each other, so you have to be careful with that make extra extra sure that your tank is secure because some people call them Houdini crabs because of how good they are at escaping and hiding so they are definitely able to escape. I have a nice secure mesh lid on mine that snaps on uh, so I don't think he'll be able to penetrate through that. But enough about that, let's move him into his new home. So right now he's just chilling in this temporary enclosure I set up for him. I wanted to make sure he was nice and warm over the night so he has a heating pad, he's got some stuff to burrow in, some water, some uh, fred some veggies over there, um, but uh, he needs more space to burrow. I think he, he they like to go deeper, so I have a deeper tank, and I'm gonna get everything set up in his little new situation. I have some coconut fiber um, getting moist right now, kind of soaking. I know the bowl is too small, but I'm making it work. Um, and then he's also gonna get a mixture of coconut soil in there as well, because I think that helps him burrow more. All right, so this is his new tank. I've just got it chilling out here in the garage. I'm gonna give it a good scrub, make sure it's nice and clean before I start putting in the soil. So I got the tank all clean. I know this kind of sucks because I'm on the bathroom floor, but I don't want to get anything dirty. So I've got his soil moisturized. I've got the coconut soil. This is the fiber. This is the soil. I'm going to start mixing it up in here and get him a good, nice, deep layer of substrate. Got a good deep layer of so a mixer of coconut fiber and coconut soil so he can get nice and deep in there. And I'm about to start setting up all the other stuff I got for him. I'm doing some moss to help with the humidity, make sure it's nice and moist in there for him. Because I believe they need between uh, 75 and 80 humidity. Now I heard they like to have some wood to climb up on because they're actually pretty curious little guys. So I got a big old branch to put in there. So I'll show you what I'm doing for his water because this is pretty important. So he needs one fresh water bowl and one salt water bowl. They don't swim, so they need to be uh, small enough that they couldn't drown in them. Um, they just need a little bit to be able to refresh themselves. Oh, hi kitty. <laughs> um, so I'm using this one for fresh water and this one for salt water. These particular guys need marine salt. So I've got this kind, the lady who sold me the crab says that'll be perfect for him. So I'm gonna use some of this instant ocean, mix it up a little bit into the bowl, and also dechlorinate my water for the fresh water. Later on when I get the chance, I think I'm going to make this easier by myself by just getting two big jugs of distilled water um, and using one for the fresh water and one for the salt water, just pour it right in there. Then I can just refill the cups like that, but for now I have to mix the little amounts in the, in the little cups, but that would probably be easier. I'm also going to go ahead and stick on this little hydrometer thermometer just so I can keep track of his temperatures in the tank. 
I can't recall exactly what the temperature and humidity is supposed to be, so I'll put it right here. I moved all this stuff from this cage into the new cage except the crab, so I'm gonna move this off of the table so I can set up my new tank, kind of unplug stuff, and see if I can get him into the new tank. So things are looking really good. The soil is nice and deep. He's got a good setup. I've got his fresh water and his salt water. And I just cut him up some fresh veggies and or fruits, sorry. I have some pineapple here and some cantaloupe. Uh, they love fresh fruits and veggies. And I heard that um, the more fresh fruits they eat, it can actually have them help them have a brighter color. So I figured I'd give him a little snack if he's feeling a little peckish. All right, I'm a little nervous about this part because it's time to transfer him over. Um, I know he's burrowed right now. You're not supposed to disturb them. Really, like, it's not good typically to disturb them when they're burrowed because it can really stress them out. I'm just doing this so I can move him into the new tank and hopefully he'll get burrowed right back down in. Um, it is very late at night right now and they are nocturnal, so there's a chance that he'll stay out. But we'll see what he wants to do. I might put him back in here to transfer him just because I want to stress him out as little as possible. Hey, Krabby. He doesn't have a name yet. I was thinking about Giuseppe. I think he kind of looks like a Giuseppe for some reason. But for now, I've just been calling him Krabby. Let me see if I can find him in here. I'm gonna poke around with this little stick just in case he decides he wants to pinch me. He's moving. Sorry, buddy. I don't want to stress you out, but we gotta move you to the new home. Oh, yeah, he gave it a good old pinch. <laughs> Glad I didn't stick my fingers in there. He's not happy. Come here, little guy. He's very angry with me. Let's get a little look at him. So here he is. I just got him out of his burrow and he's got his claws up because he's feeling threatened. Um, that's what they do. Poor little guy is a little freaked out, but I'm gonna move him into his new permanent home so he doesn't have to worry about anything like anything bothering him ever again. <laughs> so you can get a better look at him here in this little tank. You can see he's a little dirty, but you can still see his beautiful colors. He's got kind of little red pants on, you can see from the back. All his legs are red. He's got those false eyes on the back of him. Those bright purple claws. He's showing, showing me how strong he is right now. I'm gonna stop freaking him out and put him right in his new tank. All right, the little guy has landed safely in his new tank. He's looking a little shy, but he's probably just kind of adjusting to the big change. It's getting nice and warm in there for him right now. I have two, uh, two heating pads going actually on this side of the tank. I have one under the tank and one right here. They're both nice and warm right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on and we can see the whole thing done. All right, he's in his new tank. He's just chilling right there. I'm sure he's a little surprised, maybe freaked out by the movement and everything. So he's just chilling for a bit, but he's got everything he needs. One thing I added off camera was a piece of cuddle bone. Um, I heard that they, it's really good for them to kind of scrape it off and they eat it for their calcium and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this is his setup for now. He, um, I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like he loves it. It's um, only been a couple minutes, but as you can see, he is nowhere to be found. <laughs> so I think he burrowed straight back down into the dirt, which is totally fine by me, whatever he's most comfortable doing. <laughs> but just so you know, I think he already kind of got comfy. And that pretty much brings me to the end of this video. I, I still have a couple more things I wanna get. Like I said, I wanna get some pebbles and some shells for him to use in his burrows. But other than that, he should really be chilling. He's got everything he needs for now. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope if anybody is getting a, thinking of getting a Halloween moon crab, this video helped you out a little bit. And if you wanna see any more of him, uh, just let me know. Bye.